The world of sports cars can never be the same. Just like our daily drivers, high-performance autos with turbocharged engines will be replaced with superior electric powertrains. After all, who doesn't want to do 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds, which is a piece of cake for EVs? Today, we'll cover the freshest electric sports cars that will be reshaping the market of fast and agile autos of tomorrow. Subscribe to our channel if you consider yourself a true fan of electric cars. Let's get technical. The Stuttgart-based company has finally removed the covers of the Mission R concept, which previews the automaker's all-electric racing future. The overall size of the brand's first EV sports car is quite similar to the 718 Cayman, but the Mission R is much wider and sits significantly lower. Its front end features distinctive 4i headlights inspired by the Porsche's Taycan, while the active aerodynamics kit allows the driver to adjust the louvers in the front air intakes and the rear wing position. The powertrain consists of two electric motors, one on each axle, and together they churn out 1,088 horsepower in the qualifying mode or 680 in the race mode. The maximum range for the 80 kilowatt hour battery pack is not specified, but Porsche claims up to 45 minutes on track. Honoring his father's involvement in the development of the original 1980 Audi Sports Quattro, Marcus Holzinger founded the E-Legend startup that aims to resurrect the icon with an electric heart. Despite the design inspiration coming from the rally-ready Quattro S1, the EL1 is actually built from the ground up and has a full access-to-access -access carbon fiber monocoque. The technological specialist Roding Automobile came up with an all-wheel drive three-motor powertrain that produces 816 horsepower and is juiced via a 90 kilowatt hour battery pack with an 800 volt architecture and 250 miles range. A limited slip differential, performance brakes, double wishbone suspension, adjustable dampers and anti-roll bars. This is a performance package that is given to E-Legend EL1 drivers to tame the beast that does 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds. BMW's M Division debuts its first fully electric performance model, hoping to carve out a piece of the sales pie from the Tesla-dominated segment. Exterior-wise, this M50 has a familiar muscular stance, very clean lines, exclusive carbon fiber parts, and of course, a vast fake kidney grille. The model also gets the adaptive M suspension kit with adaptive dampers that adjust every few milliseconds. Dual electric motors produce 536 horses and power all four wheels while the 80 kilowatt hour battery promises 316 miles of racing. Inside every i4 M50 has leather clad sports seats with a memory function, generous amount of carbon fiber and a new BMW curved display that consists of two separate side by side displays. Created even before the Plaid version of the Model S became available for the wide public, this is a rare cooperation between the American company and an aftermarket tuner. The model was created by Hawthorne-based Unplug Performance specifically for the 2021 Pikes Peak Hill Climb. The sedan was stripped down and reassembled with new bodywork elements and components from such industry leaders as Bill Stein, Braille Battery, and Yokohama. The 1,020 horsepower beast completed this year's shortened Pikes Peak run in 6 minutes and 57 seconds, showing the best in class results and reaching speed of 80 miles per hour in the process.
Initially launched as Seats High Performance brand, Cupra is now planning to become an all-electric company by 2030. The future is being previewed by the new Urban Rebel concept. As its name suggests, it's a hot hatchback that does away with boring style cues and tamed exterior design, typical for the segment. Ready for the city or the track, the car gets an aggressive shark nose, huge rear wing, and triangular headlights. The hatch is built on a shortened version of the MEV platform, and it should be powered by a dual motor system. Cooper promises 340 horses of output, with short boost of up to 435 horsepower. As a result, the hatch should take just 3.2 seconds to accelerate to 62 miles per hour. Though founded just two years ago, Everati already has a couple of ambitious projects on its hands. Among them is this all-electric Porsche 911, based on the original donor vehicle from the 964 generation of the model. The coupe is restored to mint condition, fitted with a new carbon fiber bonnet and doors, while its 3.0-liter turbo engine is replaced by a duo of electric motors. The model is offered in pure and signature modifications that promise 440 or 500 horses of output. A 53 kilowatt hour battery is standard for both. The car also gets regenerative braking, Quaffy ATV torque biasing differential, and a modernized cabin with AC, heated seats, Apple CarPlay, and full navigation. Established by Ferdinand Porsche's grandson, Anton Pieck, the Switzerland-based manufacturer is keeping up with the times and focusing exclusively on development of electric performance cars. The brand's first model was previewed by the 2019 Mark Zero concept and is now moving into the prototype stage under the name GT. The Grand Tour is expected to arrive by 2024, powered by three electric motors with 600 horsepower combined. The system is fed by a 75 kilowatt hour battery and has the ability to recharge in five minutes and packs enough juice for 310 miles of driving. Performance wise, the GT promises to outdo modern Porsche cars zero to 60 in three seconds and zero to 124 in less than nine. Created by four UK-based engineering firms and funded with the help of the government, this project aims to revive the public's interest for British sports cars. The model's exterior focuses on aerodynamics, so it gets a bullet-like shape, air curtains, large diffuser, and rear wheel covers. The heart of this roofless two-seater is all electric. There are two 44 kilowatt hour battery packs, one located up front and one hidden underneath the floor for optimal weight distribution. The system promises 400 miles of driving. Inside, you are greeted by an attractive red and black cabin with a round five inch self-leveling driver display and a 10 inch human machine interface powered by Android OS. The first model from Audi's 2022 concept trio is a Grand Tour or convertible that's inspired by the 1931 Horsch 853 Roadster. The model can extend its length by almost 10 inches and adjust its ground clearance by 0.4 inches. In its shortened version, the Skysphere is a driver-operated sports car that measures 194 inches in length and sits closer to the ground. As a GT, it is 204 inches long and is fully autonomous, allowing the driver and passengers to relax and stretch their legs. 
The car's drivetrain system consists of a single motor with 632 horses and an 80 kilowatt hour battery with 310 miles. Firmly believing that hydrogen fuel cell technology would still play an important role in the zero emissions transportation of the future, Hyundai continues to work on the required tech. Within the next decades, they even plan to reach price and performance parity with battery electric vehicles. One of the first steps within the Hyundai Hydrogen Vision 2040 campaign is the development of a fuel cell sports car with 375 miles of range. The South Korean company got the help from Ramat's automobile, so the newcomer boasts a 670 horsepower dual motor powertrain with torque vectoring and under 4 seconds 0 to 60 acceleration. Rate the electric vehicles presented in this lineup from 1 to 10 and mention your favorite models in the comments section below. Subscribe to our channel and smash the like button to push the electric revolution forward. More EVs are waiting for you. Just tap the icon on the screen and enjoy well-researched electric content. See ya!